Well, Christianity has really only kind of been around in its fluorescence in like a, for about maybe 60 years, if that much. And so they're about 60 years behind America. So our church is non-denominational, which is... Okay, yeah, no, that's not people. Okay, <laughs> our church is non-denominational, which here in Korea, that's like, what is that? That's your own denomination. So my church has been called a cult and a heresy, which it is clearly not, because um, y'all know me better than that. If it was anything, because a cult is someone who worships Satan, and if it was anything satanic looking or sounding that was dead line with the word of God, deuce my goose, I'd be gone. Um, or in that it was a heresy and a blasphemy against God. So I had to encounter that, but it was all good because I was like, mm, I don't worship the devil. So I don't go to a cult and that's that. So why am I talking about this? Oh, right. So my church, um, is a wonderful church and it has really and truly been a blessing to me. So that's one of the main reasons why you haven't seen me because I've been chilling at church doing awesome things and I really love the fact that we have a global ministry. We have churches all over the world and it just blesses me. Like we get new people that come and visit from out of missions field and just proclaim the awesome things that have been happening in the gospel. And I was like, that's what's up. So, um, yeah, Korean Christianity is a lot different. It's very legalistic. It's very much so, you know, do this, do this, do this, don't do this, don't do this, but there's no relationship. And, of course, my church is all about relationship, you know, feeling the move of God and knowing it for yourself and experiencing. So that's my spiritual note for today is that, you know, know Christ for yourself, like, as a person. He, he is a person. You can get to know him. It's not just reading the bible and quoting scriptures it's, it's, it's not that there's so much more and when you open up your heart to that you can experience life in a whole other way i'm in korea doing it big like for god so that's how it's proof that if you just live for god he'll do the rest and i mean really live for him bump all the rules you could be a whoremonger you could be homosexual you could be a liar whatever just come to god and start the journey he'll meet you where you at forget people because so people are not going to understand but god has a purpose for your life and so focus on that focus on god and the purpose forget people if you slip up along the way keep going god ain't surprised i guarantee you god is nowhere in heaven like oh my god that person messed up i don't know how to bless them now Nothing shocks him. He's God. Come on. He's Alpha and Omega, which means he already knew he was going to make that mistake, and he went to Calvary for you anyway. So, um, I have some wonderful Korean friends who are the bomb. Shout out to them. Love you much. And um, I think I've hit everything. The kids still are in school all day, every day. Crazy. I can't wait till I open my school here. 2011. Woohoo! Can't wait till I open my international school. Um, so that I can show them balance. Um, balance. Emila, Emila, Emika. That's the polite ending to their sentences, and they always put that the end. So, um, I think that's everything. I think I've covered everything. Oh, my hair journey from Korea. Okay, so as y'all can see, I'm I'm trying to rock something a little different. I totally made this up. I was actually trying to do, I was trying to do this live tutorial um, before church, and I was like, oh, I gotta go, so I kind of made this up along the way. So I hope it doesn't look too bad, but, um, yeah, I am in, I can do my own hair. <laughs> I'm just lazy. I really, when it comes to my hair, now, I'm not lazy. I like it to be done, and that's how I spoil myself, is having my hair done by someone else and just looking fresh and twisted and it hasn't been that way in a long time so i mean i kind of touch it up a little bit when i can but um i mean it's cool because people still want to touch it so i'm dying it so yeah I, i'm not gonna do a tutorial about it but i'll show you the color i think i'm gonna do black at the bottom and then like maybe a tinge red up top that's gonna be real cute mm -hmm. So that's what's been going on with me. Next time you see me, I'm going to have the one, the only, the most fabulous singer in the world, um, Ezra White, will be with me. And we're going to interview. He's actually from South Africa. 
He has black tendencies though, but he's not black. Um, and I'm gonna interview him about his experiences and how people assume that he's other races and how they treat him based on that. Um, so yeah, in a nutshell, Korea is an awesome place to live, but you need to have your own identity before you come here. Be expected to defend your identity when you get here. Um, and understand that as a culture on the outside, they have advanced whoosh, like wildfire, but underneath mentally, they're still back there. This is still a very homogeneous society. Like you, everybody looks the same, the exact same. And I don't mean the same, like, oh, I can't tell you apart. I mean the same as in the same color, the same style of dress, the same they just are very the same, but it's because they've had to find their own identity. So it's like, let's all do the same thing so no one can ever take this from us again. Um, so yeah, be prepared for that. Um, yeah, but I love Korea. I'm so glad I'm here. Um, and everyone keeps asking me, when am I coming back to the States? Hmm, I'm not. <laughs> I'm not. I'll probably, I'll come back to visit and do recruit and workshops and stuff like that as people want me to come, you know, talk to their young people or do engagements or whatever. I'll be, I'll be in the States for that, but my residence will be here or another country, but definitely not the U.S. Um, so that's your answer. I'm not coming back anytime soon, um, unless the Lord tells me otherwise, and I don't hear that. So, um, I will be here for a long time. A long time. Do I look like my name could be Bonquasia? Mm, I'm just, I'm messing. Um, thank you for everyone who subscribed. I have a lot of followers. <laughs> Crazy. But, please. Hit me up on YouTube because, I mean, on Facebook because um, I think it's because I live, I started my YouTube in the States, but I'm here now. For some reason, it doesn't let me comment on anything, my videos or anyone else's. So, um, if you have comments or whatever, leave me a post on Facebook. I'll holler back at you on here. Or, you can leave me a message and I can inbox you, but I just can't comment. So, um, definitely hit me up on Facebook or somewhere awesome like that. <laughs> no, just kidding. Hit me up on Facebook. Um, I'll be praying for you. And hopefully you're praying for me too. And hopefully I will have some new outfits to model for you real soon. Mm, real soon. Um, shout outs to Zeta Phi Beta Sorority Incorporated 1920. It's so good to see y'all. Um, I'm the president of the debut chapter here, and the girl, the women are phenomenal, and I'm just so excited that I can um, be a part of something so great as they to even overseas doing wonderful things with the community here, self-esteem builders, etc. So um, I love you guys, and yes, inbox me anything you want to know, and I will see you next time on MKJ TV. This is Esperanza Spalding, by the way.